Good afternoon and welcome to Harrogate. We've got a chance to get behind the wheel of the Subaru Crosstrek. I'm Ben Quirk, muddying it up with Subaru. Welcome to Planet Auto. So our adventure starts in the Forester. Essentially, this is our transit vehicle to the off-road track. Not a bad motor to be traveling in. And they just don't skip a beat. Subaru EyeSight, all-wheel drive, Look at those red accents. It'll be nice to be back behind the wheel of one. And we can choose either black or white. Then we'll go white. Wow, fair few motors here. Uh -huh. Thank you, Forrester. Look at that for a Beautiful. view. Beautiful. This looks fun. Well, it's a good day. <laughs> Apart from road wars. <laughs> Not every day you get to go out with a specialist. We've got X mode one yeah. and X mode two. Okay. So as soon as you select X mode, Oops. snow and dirt, your hill descent control comes on there. Yeah. Okay, so you know it's engaged. X mode will stay in up to 12 miles an hour. Okay. And then it will drop out automatically. When you put it in X mode two, which is for deep snow and mud, mm. what it does, it, it turns off your torque reduction so what happens is you're going up a hill and it starts to struggle pop that on and what it does it allows you to keep the torque going yeah so when you're ready all right into drive <laughs> excellent and we can sort of keep it under 12 mile an hour if you can that's that's brilliant that's good speed that's it and now just increase your power wow it's just there it's so smooth and then we yeah, turn no scrabble right. either no Turning right at the top. Yeah. And we're going down this second hill here. The hill descent part of it yeah. works on the brake and the accelerator. Yeah. You set the speed yourself. So if you were to let go of the brake now, it would automatically default to about two miles an hour. If you felt that was too slow, if you touched the accelerator to a speed you were comfortable Override with and it. lifted it, yeah. it would then default to the speed at which you lift off the accelerator. Oh, wow. Yep, and then if you thought, hang on, that's a bit quick. Yeah, yeah. Just then touch the brakes yeah. and it'll default to that speed. Brake pedal down. Well, and then well, when I say feet off everything. Half belief, aren't you? Yep. Nice. And then just touch the accelerator now. And off we go. Yeah. Accelerate up the hill, go on. Bit more, bit more. Go on, go on, go on, go on, go on, go on. Brilliant. It's not been at sea over the body. It throws me. It always does on a green line. On the Outback Tourer. Yeah. And in Solteri, it's got the camera that you can. You, it, oh. So you can actually see it on the screen. You, yeah, I'd like that. Yeah. yeah. Just keep on the track okay. and follow the arrows. All right. So can you pick up the next arrow? Left. Yep. But there's arrows everywhere. So I'm oh, just. That one's hidden. You see. Right. <laughs> This is one that should have taken your eye line. Right, okay. If you were looking as far up the road as possible. That's course. a journalist for you, isn't it? <laughs> Defensive driving, I am watching every mortal thing. It's quite hard to isn't it? Oh, wow. Yeah, keep that seat. Yeah, nice. Yeah. Now I look at some of this and think, ooh, approach angle, and it, it's, it's... They're really good fine. on this, approach yeah. and departure angle on this is really, really good. It's the best out of all of them, this and the Forester. Not yeah. scrabbling. It's nope. Very what we're going to do process. here is, I want you to keep as far right as you can, almost brushing the tree. Right. Tell me if you feel a difference. Tell me... Yes. Yep. Power. <laughs> it's almost surging. And you heard the engine note yeah. change, yeah. and did you... Did you feel the difference in the accelerator pedal? Yes. So yeah, no, there's a noticeable difference. Yeah. Was that X mode 2? Yeah, do it again here. Yeah, and it's only about a second delay as yeah. well, so it's... So if you were suddenly in the deep stuff... Yeah, you can get out pop of it that pretty on. quickly. Yeah. And for the fact that it could be done up until 12 miles an hour as well. Exactly, yeah. yeah. And you could do it on road. If you like this type of video, why not subscribe to the channel? You just hit the button on the right hand side. It's free and you'll get an alert every time we upload. Also, if you do like the video, why not give it a like? It all helps and it means we can get more cars. Thank you. Feet off everything. See that right foot dancing. Uh, I always... <laughs>
Are you a dancer? What's that? No, it <laughs> actually is. Yeah. Yeah. We all. <laughs> if you come left. Yeah. Dependent on the terrain, sometimes it'll just bloody slip. Especially mm. where we are, a lot of limestone. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. And all of a sudden, it's gone. Yeah. And it does this. Yeah. We did that in the Grenadier and we ended up bouncing on the um, rock sliders. Well, that's that. what they're there for. Yeah, it's a heavy old thing that. Yeah, these feel agile, nimble, you know, the kind of thing you could have a lot of fun. So on this hill, what I want you to do is to hardly touch the accelerator. Yeah. So it's, it's going to struggle, okay? It's okay. going to struggle. So hardly touch the accelerator. Like that. A lot more. Yeah, pedal. I've not moved it at all. No, there you go. So the engine did all of that? Yeah, the X mode There you too. go. You can tell the difference as you turn it off. The torque's yeah, exactly, yeah, exactly. Yeah, there's just such a reduction. Yeah. Make sure nothing's coming down that track. Nothing. Touch the brakes. Feet off everything. There you go. Look at that. Flat foot. Yeah. And you know it's braking for you because the hill descent light's flashing. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Left and right. Hear it working, yeah. hear that rock, rock, rock. So through here, left and right. And then go right over to the right, as far as you can go. A bit more, that's it. Go through this dumper stuff, that's it. Oh, right. okay. that's oh nice, I like that. Through there, yeah, keep it going. Right the way over there. Great stuff. I tend to not do this because of allies. <laughs> you never know, do you? Foot down to, that's it, lovely. Feet off everything and just steer. I bet the camera doesn't do this justice. No. The fact that we're tipping out though, <laughs> should. I feel how that's holding it. You'd expect you, it you, to be. No. And even when it does, yep. it, it knows how to. So you didn't go down there any quicker than three mile an hour? No, I can believe it. And then you look to the left as you turn in, you see the end of the tunnel. It's about three quarters of a mile long, look. And then we'll do this again. It's amazing how little power you need though, isn't it? That that's there if you do need it. You feel that straight away. Yeah. And then you can balance it. Does that increase the economy much? Um, I don't think it makes a lot. I mean, I'm not being funny when you when you're driving on, on this sort of terrain. You start, it's, it's not a thing you not, think about, is no, it? No, it's yeah. not going to make a lot of difference. Because what I've noticed when we've been green lane and we lose four or five miles when you start, obviously doing all wheel drive. But the difference is these are permanent all wheel drive. Isn't yes, they are. Yeah. So is this essentially four high? Is that how it is on one of these? <sighs> Or is it, it, it midway between it will, four high, it, four low? It will basically, it will deliver power yeah. to the wheels. that are, It senses which wheel needs the power and which wheel doesn't. Right. And it's constantly working. So it's like a combined four high, four so, low. Yeah, so it, it, what they call it symmetrical. Yeah, all -wheel Symmetrical all-wheel drive, yeah. exactly. Then feet off everything. Come on, keep going. There we go. Yeah, we'll just drop down. Just keep your feet off everything until it gets into the bottom. Now just feed it in. That angle. That's unbelievable. You just gotta watch the rocks on the right and the buntings there to guide you so you don't go over the edge. It's interesting to feel how the power does it. It's you'd expect it to be and it, it just isn't. That's because it's the symmetrical yeah. side of it is delivering permanently monitoring yeah it's delivering power where it's needed yeah wow. thing is it'll do way more than this as well won't it oh yeah it will yeah and that's what you call capable and look at the ride height and that's the thing, the approach angle and the departure angle on this is it's pretty damn good. It's the best in its class, which isn't surprising. The kind of things I was driving over there, you can see why it's as good as it is. And then you've got the formidable Subaru all-wheel drive system as well. Symmetrical.
which they prided themselves on for many years. Mind you, this was all born out of rally technology, but that's why they dominated rallying. Well, there you have it. Our adventure in the Crosstrek is complete. There's a full review to follow that will have prices, trims, etc, etc. But in a nutshell, three year warranty, 80,000 miles, eight year on the e-boxer battery. You can get touring or a limited. The touring's £36,345 and the limited £34,345. But bear in mind we'll go into way more detail in the full review. Thanks for watching. And I almost forgot. Thanks very much, Pat, from Road Wars. It was a pleasure.